Cuba, it's me. Welcome to episode 167 of the Wilu Show, which stands for Wrestling is Life, Life is Wrestling. Now today, I want to talk about old school Eddie James Ellington Jim Connolly. Did I say that right? I don't know. Everybody, I just call him old school. Everybody knows him as old school, and it's his birthday today. And I just want to say he's one of my favorite refs ever to work with. Possibly, he probably is my favorite. I just... I don't want to offend and ruffle anybody else's feathers, but this guy is so much fun. He is one of the boys. He's a true credit to the wrestling business. He's someone you want to have on every show. He enhances every match. Now, some people may not realize the importance of a good referee. I've had a lot of crappy referees over the year, and they don't add anything to the match. If anything, they make the match look sloppier or less professional than it is. Old school is perhaps one of the best, and I mean best, in the world at refereeing, in my opinion. He uh, knows how to portray realism to the crowd. He has good facial expressions. He, I don't know why, I don't know, I hope this is a compliment, but he looks like a ref. He looks like an authority figure. He looks like someone in there that's not going to put up with any nonsense. But then also, if there's like a fun spot or a funny spot, he's a good person to have involved in that. And to me... He's so over, like, I remember so many circumstances. He did this one match, it was like a 4-on-4 four four or 5-on-5 five five match, and he was so over. And honestly, he was better at wrestling than a lot of people I've competed against. And uh, I know another time, um, I won the Pure Wrestling Championship, and there was some shenanigans pulled, and uh, the referee got knocked down, and it wasn't old school. And the fans were chanting for old school, like, you don't see refs get over like that. They just want, they knew like, hey, this ref is crappy. He got knocked down. We want old school. And the chant goes crazy just to have someone in there. Like, it's not even like he's a face or it's a heel. It's just like, they don't feel content unless he's the one in the match. Now, um, I know he's cut down on his bookings a lot, but some people should just pay this guy double. Get him out there. Like, I mean, he's having another birthday, so he's not like, he's not a young man anymore. But really... He should be working every weekend. Maybe that's too much for him. I know he's had a few injuries and stuff like that, but he's in great shape for his age. And um, I honestly, I've asked his advice on a couple of occasions, like, what can I do better with my character? What do you not like? What do you like? Because he sees everything. This man is like, in Ontario wrestling, there's not too many people that know more than he does. He's been around almost all the different talents, different shows. He sees what works. He sees what the fans like and they don't like. He knows uh, like not to have too many high spots. He knows to have a little bit of comedy. He knows how to, like, to vary it and everything like that. But if I, for some reason, some crazy reason, was running a promotion... And uh, old, I would have a couple refs, and I'd have old school one of them, and I would definitely do it with angle with old school. Old school is money. For the life of me, I cannot figure out why he does not sell some kind of old school t-shirts. And he just, he, he loves wrestling. Like, he goes to the Cauliflower Alley uh, reunion every year, and he just, he's on Facebook, he's always helping, he's always saying kind things too, and he's always like, being positive and he was a teacher for like 30 40 years like this man has uh just been a great person for so long and helped so many people and i honestly feel like he should be um doing seminars and stuff like not even just teaching refs but i think he could really work at like teaching managers how to do their role and teaching ring announcers how to do that their role and even help polishing some of the wrestlers like i'm not saying he should go in and train the wrestlers but he could definitely put a, just an extra coat of paint on some of them and say, hey, why don't you try this? Or why don't you try this? And like break some guys out of their bubble. And like he, he just sees the business the way it should be seen. He is old school, but he's like, that's like the problem with a lot of people. Either they're too old school or they're too no, new school where they're doing 75 high spots or they're just strictly doing old school. Where for me... He's like got a love for old school, but he's able to change with the times and uh, like really see what's working now compared to what was working 30 years ago and combine the two because old school wrestling is still over and the new uh, style of wrestling is over. But to bring both of them together perfectly and tell a great story plus have enough moves to keep the smart young fans happy, 
this guy knows everything, and I just want to say I hope he has a happy birthday. Every time he's repped one of my matches, it's always made it better, and I've always had a lot of fun out there. Like, you know when you're out there with him and he's going to be your rep, that he'll go with anything, and, like, he'll make the match better, and that you're also just going to be happy you were in there for him. There was one time I wrestled this match against uh, Brandon Hines, and uh, Brandon Hines didn't really kick out. And old school count of the three, which is exactly what he should have done. And I was like, yeah, man, he didn't kick out, you count the three. And uh, he felt bad about it, like he had ruined our match. But it's like, no, like he's just, he's such a caring person too. Like he, even some once in a while, he'll, he will get down on himself. And it's like, how dare you get down on yourself old school? Because you are probably the greatest person alive. And one of the greatest people I've ever met. And I, uh, I remember I asked you at the last show, but we didn't really have a lot of time, that I would love to interview on the show. Man, what a great story you have to tell. I really wish one time you could get out to Kitchener here, and uh, I would love to interview you on your on this show. What a, an amazing story. Like, you've ref so many matches in the thousands. Now, I know you're keeping track of them. I know you... Uh, this could be going a while back. I don't know how good my memory is, but I know you've reached your thousands match. It's probably 2,000 now. I could be wrong. But I just wanted to give a tribute to you on my show. Uh, I give tribute to people in the business that I really love. And because I'm like kind of a shy, quiet person, they may not know how I really feel about them. But you have a special place in my heart, sir. And uh, I just feel so so much honor and pleasure when I'm working the same show. And whenever I go and check the, the, the sheet to see who's refing my matches, and no offense to any of the other referees, they're all good too, but I mean... I'm always disappointed when old school's name's not written next to my name. I always want him to ref my matches. I hope you have the yeah, best birthday ever, young man. Thank you for uh, being a part of wrestling. Um, I'm so happy. I love being on the same show with you. You're just a great, nice person, full of energy, who uh, just makes people around them happy and glad to be there. Have a great birthday. I love wrestling. I know you do, too. Happy birthday, old school. Cuba!